Hello everyone, welcome back to the manse for another midweek update. We're going to have a short Bible-based reflection, some of the latest church news and some pointers for prayer. So come on in. Have you seen the rainbow pictures in people's windows? Pictures created by the children to support the NHS. It's a lovely game for the children to spot them as they go out and about. And it's lovely to see the support for our National Health Service. But long before the rainbow became the symbol of this lockdown, and long before it was taken up by the LGBT lobby, or even before the South African president, Nelson Mandela, took the rainbow as the symbol for his rainbow nation. For thousands of years, the rainbow was a symbol of God's promise to keep his word. For thousands of years, it's been a symbol of our Christian faith. If you have a Bible, take time to read Genesis chapter 9, verses 12 to 16. And as you go about uh, the streets and your business this coming week, whenever you see those children's rainbows, remember again that God still keeps his promises. One good idea to come out of the South Wales Baptist Association is that Christians put up a Christian poster in their windows for this Easter weekend. A little bit like the rainbow pictures that uh, the children have been putting up to support the NHS. Let's proclaim the Lord Jesus Christ to people who are passing by, even if we can't go out and have open airs or have services or reach out to people in the normal way. So this is uh, my picture uh, and that's going to go up in our window uh, and I encourage you to do something similar. Let me bring you up to date with some church news. First, on Good Friday, uh, I'm going to be leading a home communion on Facebook and through our website at 11 o'clock. And I invite you to join me then to prepare some bread and some wine. And if you don't have wine, uh, something uh, to replace it. And we're going to remember the life, death, sacrifice and resurrection of Jesus Christ as we celebrate communion together in our homes. That's this Friday at 11 o'clock. Then on Easter Sunday, we're going to have a resurrection, celebration and declaration at our normal time of half past 10. So again, tune in uh, to Facebook or to our website and you will be able to join us for these special occasions. Let me encourage you, if you haven't done so already, to sign up for our church newsletter. We're going to continue to produce an email church newsletter every week with all of the information and the updates that you need in greater detail than we can put on Facebook. And now some pointers for prayer. Would you please continue to remember Gwyneth and her family on the passing of her husband Billy? Would you also remember Mary uh, and her family on the passing of her sister-in-law in Birmingham? We want to remember Julie and her daughter, daughter Rachel, who is a doctor on the front line of caring for coronavirus victims in Australia. We are told in the Bible to remember our leaders, the leaders of our nation in our prayers. And so this week we want to particularly remember our Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, and pray for his recovery and that he might know the presence and the love of Jesus in his heart and in his mind. And let us pray particularly this Easter time that the Christian churches will lift up the name of Jesus and proclaim the cross and empty grave of Jesus, the only real hope for eternal life. So bless you, stay safe, stay well, see you soon. God bless. <laughs>